Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video from Mind Capital and happy Friday. Today's video recap is on DraftKings. DraftKings, you know, uh, they're a company that is involved in sports betting. Um, they reported earnings and Wall Street didn't take their earnings so well. Uh, as you guys can see, you know, as soon as the market opened, the stock did open lower by about 14%. So right off the bat, I was kind of short bias on this stock uh, and I did want to get in uh, and short the stock because I felt like we can create new lows. The primary reason why I felt like we can create new lows was because we're trading very near its all time low uh, at about $17.80. Um, I kind of felt like today was the day that, you know, this company could make new all time lows. And now that the stock market is closed, it actually did. It made a new all time low of about $17.30, I believe. Um, so my thesis was right. Um, unfortunately for me, however, I didn't write it down all the way, uh, but I did make some good money on this stock. Um, so I'm practically, you know, uh, happy with that, uh, right here. I'm kind of just waiting for a good moment to start to jump in and short the company. The reason why I didn't go short right off the back was because, you know, we are looking a little bit bullish. Uh, for you know a couple things we're above the VWAP which is that you know yellow line in the one minute candle also if you scroll to the right you see the five minute and the two minute candle you know we're trading above the moving averages so that's all kind of like bullish indicators tells me that the stock price could go up so I don't want to short this company uh, right off the back I kind of just want to make get some confirmation that the stock is going to go down so I'm kind of just waiting my overall game plan was to short around the $19.70 range, which is why I have that blue line on that, you know, one minute candle chart that that's where I want to start getting short. Um, we did get we do get near that price level. But unfortunately for me, you know, I don't get in at that entry because the stock just moves way too fast. I actually shorted a thousand shares at about $19.10. That's my entry point. Uh, and I get out pretty quickly after realizing a gain of about four hundred and sixty two dollars in three or four minutes if i would have waited a little bit more you know i could have easily made a thousand dollars uh if i would have waited the entire day i could have easily made about you know fifteen hundred to two thousand or so uh but once again when it comes to day trading stocks you never know what's going to happen uh and i was kind of satisfied with the amount of money i made because i made it so quickly that i kind of just was okay to get out because you know every minute that you're holding on to your position you know you're running that risk of the stock you know moving against you or you losing money that you could have got so that's why i got out and then that's something i'm personally working on because i do tend to get out of my trades so early and i leave a lot on the table but it's kind of just hard to predict the future and you know know what's going to happen but this is you know uh you're looking at the overall chart my position didn't start green right off the back i am actually down um my main you know uh concern was for the stock to pull below the VWAP, which is that yellow line. Once we, you know, go below that price range, uh, I kind of am confident that we're going to go down. And that's what we start to do here. Uh, we start, you know, we're testing that VWAP and then suddenly, we, you know, we just go below it. And once we do go below that price level, that price point is when the stock, you know, starts going down drastically. Um, so as you guys can see now I'm up, you know, about, you know, 250, 300, it kind of fluctuates with every, you know, second that, you know, goes, but, you know, I'm kind of just waiting to see how much more it can give, um, and, you know, and any, you know, indication of it, you know, reversing and going back up, that's when I want to get out. And that's kind of why I got out where I did get out because I saw a green candle and I'm like, you know what, this can probably go back up and I'm okay with the profit. So as you guys can see, I made $462 in about three minutes. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something.